G'day guys, uh, today I'm doing a little comparison on a lithium battery compared to one of these lithium power packs. Now, the power pack that you're seeing is just the 12 amp hour power pack. Um, I did win this in a competition uh, from Kings and tested it out and there's some videos that you might have seen or if you haven't go back and have a look um, and initially when first testing the little 12 amp hour power pack I was quite impressed um, it was running my bilge pumps for about an hour 45 I believe hour and a half from memory which I was pretty happy with um, this thing's only about a kilo and a half in weight has the cigarette lighter has a C port and also has um, and that's the in and out that C port a couple of USB and a light um, and then there is another charging port there. And a lot of questions that come up about this thing is, can I charge it while I'm using it? And in theory, as long as you're not using that C port, then yes. But the thing that lets this thing down is the cable you get supplied can only, you know, take not a lot of wattage. And these things take a considerable amount of time. I think King sell a charger now for these units, for the 12, and they sell a larger one, I believe, for the 24. Um, one's 100 watts, and the smaller one's 65 Trying to charge um, this thing while you're running with a solar panel, I, I just don't think um, that little cable that's going in, think of your phone cable. You know, you can only pump so much power through one of those sort of things before it's going to get extremely hot. You've got to think, you're going to have this thing, to be charging it, you're going to have it in the sun. And I personally just don't think um, it's something even thinking about. You're never going to put in what you're drawing out of one of these little things. And yeah, look, I, I, I it's a good little unit. Um, it's lightweight. If you want to charge your phone, run, run a fridge for a few hours. Um, a tablet, you know, charging a tablet or something like that, your laptop. Um, but it, it does let you down in the sense that if you wanted to set this unit up for a day or two and you're thinking you're going to be able to use a small solar panel to charge this thing, Nah, forget about it. I don't. I don't think it's the right bit of equipment. Now you might be thinking, why then are you comparing a little unit like that to a lithium battery in a battery box? Um. All right. So I'll go through what happened. Around Christmas time, you could say, and I got some Christmas money in that. I bought myself, because I was so impressed with this um, unit, and the initial testings were great. I went, really, the 24 amp, the amp hour um, lithium power pack will be much better same downfall with the charging um, has two of these sockets that's the only real thing has two sockets um, and 24 amp hour 
Now, they're about 240-odd bucks. Now, they don't come with a charger, so you've got to buy a charger on top of that. I think King sells one charge for about 65 and the other one's for about 100 So you've got to add that on to the cost as well. At the moment, Kings are selling this, and I'll show you what it is. It's a 60 uh, amp hour lithium battery. It weighs 7 kilos. And let's just say the box weighs a kilo. I don't think it'll be much more, maybe a kilo and a half max. So we're topping out at 8.5 kilos. The unit that I'm talking about, not this particular one, this is a kilo and a half. The 24 amp hour one um, is three kilos. So, yep, we've just gone a bit over double the weight. But we've got a little bit more than double the power. And the price for one of these at the moment and when the 24 amp one is on uh, sale when they're both on sale this costs you about 20 bucks more yep you're gonna need something to charge it I'm lucky enough that I've already got a solar controller in my patrol and a solar panel permanently mounted to the roof that I can just plug this in um, and charge it that way. The other thing um, is I've got a DC to DC charger in the patrol that runs my larger battery, um, that runs the fridge and everything else. This um, battery box itself has a couple of plugs so a couple of USBs and your cigarette socket advantage as well is it's got the Anderson plugs on it already it has a cutoff just a reset um, and I believe all these are fused the one that isn't fused, I believe, is this here. There's an on and off switch, so you can turn it on. Press this little red button, and it'll give you um, your volts. Click that off. Um, now, obviously, yes, you're going to need a charger for one of these things. If we look at, let's just say we were going to charge this thing, not solar, um, we were just going to charge it um, with a charger. Honestly, the charger is actually cheaper for my lithium. I can get a cheap charger that's, you know, still going to take a few hours to charge the thing up. But it's, it's just, it's price-wise, there's nothing in it. If you went down the solar route like I have, um then yeah it's probably about a couple of hundred bucks um the advantage with this lithium the draw that i can get out of this thing is um pretty damn crazy like the ampage that i can pull out of this yeah look obviously yep bigger unit and all that sort of stuff but we're talking, the comparison here is with the price. I'm having a bit of trouble um, undoing this thing. Because I need to show you what I've sort of done inside. But I'm comparing the two units for the one simple reason. It's about the price. It's not about, oh, but wait a second. This is a much bigger battery and this is this and that. This is about getting bang for your buck. Now... You've got a couple of little carry handles here that you can lift this thing up with. Bang for your buck, I'm getting twice the amount of power. 
over twice the amount of power. Yeah, I've gone just over twice the amount of weight. But I can hook up a solar panel in one of these Anderson plugs with the controller um, and charge this thing, put a 250 watt solar panel on or a blanket and easily keep this thing charged and run my high banker because that's the really the main purpose i can still charge my phone with this as well at the same time and even if i'm running my larger high banker um, and taking about 15 amps i should be able to put about 15 amps into it with the solar panel like a 250 watt panel now so for me, I can keep this topped up. It'll last the whole day. And even if it draws, I'm drawing a little bit more than that, I've still got to use that 60 amp hours. Um, and I don't think I would. Even if I, if I run my little high banker, I'm drawing about 7 amps, let's say 8 amps an hour. So you've got to be talking, what, 7, nearly 8 hours or something with that? Banker, I'm not going to be digging for seven or eight hours to have that thing running for seven or eight hours as well. Um, or else I won't be moving the next day. My larger high banker is about 16 amps. Um, so we're talking close to four hours continuously. If I'm shoveling that thing as fast as it needs to be fed for close to four hours... Once again, I'm not going to be walking out of that creek. You're going to be carrying me out. I'm just going to be killing myself. Um, so bank for buck, 60 amp hour, I think, is a much better buy. But in saying that, yep, if you get the little 24 amp and um, or amp hour, it's going to be nice and light. You're going to be able to carry it a lot further along. Um, so, as I said, there are pros and cons. Weight is the pro with the little 24. And it's very... I don't know. I, the reason I'm not showing you the 24 amp is there was an issue with it. Um, I think it just had a meltdown pretty much, just... And I was only sucking about seven or eight amps out of it. it. Should be it's rated for a lot more than that. But the dozen or so times that I took it out, there was a problem with the on and off switch. The battery was fine; it was fully charged. But something went wrong in the electricals, and it just wouldn't turn on, um, and it wouldn't let you um, use any power. So. There was an issue there. Um, the one thing that I do, and I've done this with all my batteries, um, because I believe this unit, these two plugs aren't fused. So when you connect something directly to here, so if I was going to do my bilge pump and I had clamps and I was clamping it onto here, I believe it's not fused. But regardless if it is or it isn't, I know these points are. Um, I always do this and I'll show you. I'm going to lift this open. So in there, you'll see there's, I don't know, there are maxi fuse, I believe. Um, and I run that straight off the terminal. So bolts on one side to the terminal. Here's a little nut and bolt there to bolt it onto the cable of the battery box. Um, you want that fuse to be right on the battery. You don't want the battery to have a problem in that sense. So I think the closer you are to that battery terminal, the better. Um, I think I'm running about, uh, that, that's an 80 amp fuse. Um, you'll see that, that little wire in there. You should be able to see that. It's very thin. It's 80 amp hour, but it's still very thin. It's going to pop before um, one of these large cables has a meltdown. 
But in saying all that, um, yeah, look, if you can spend probably another hundred odd bucks or 150 odd bucks, you can probably get yourself a hundred amp hour battery. But now we're talking, we're going from about eight kilos with the battery box up to about 14 kilos. So we're doubling again. Um, and then 14 kilos, even though a big high bank you're carrying all this stuff, if you've got a couple of people, it's no problems. It's about how many trips you actually want to make to get to where you are. If you're camping, then yeah, sure, go ahead, spend the extra bucks because that power is going to come in handy, especially if you're running a fridge and um, a few things and you're not going to be moving for a few days. But that solar panel is going to you know, kick in anyway and help you along the reach a few more days. I'm going to leave it there. What I'm doing actually, I wanted to do a video today mainly because um, I haven't done anything for a while. The other thing is um, I'm trying out um, and my new phone. So I got the um, Samsung S24 Ultra. So I don't know the camera's just set up in or in the standard thing. I haven't played around with it too much. I know there's all this AI and business and who knows. Um, wouldn't have a clue how to use any of that stuff. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the picture quality comes up. I'm holding this thing, just moving around, jiggling around. Light's not good. Um, but, yeah. Look, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Any questions, I'm happy to answer anything that I can. Um, no electrical wizard. But for me, for bang for buck, a 60 amp hour battery um, from King's. You know, I'm comparing two Kins pro products, really, at the end of the day. There's probably, you know, people say, oh, there's better lithiums, that's rubbish, and blah, 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 blah. Well, there might be. This is talking about getting something cheap that's going to work um, and suits my needs. One other thing that I will quickly show you is, in here, I hope you can see these, you should be able to see a little white bit of, I don't know, it's sort of like, it's not foam, Oh, I suppose it is. It's foam. It's not like polystyrene. And that's what the battery actually comes in, um, in its packaging. And I just use the base just to more lock it in. It won't slide. It's a nice, tight fit. Um, doesn't affect the battery box in, in the closing because it lifts it up by, you know, a little bit like this. But... It adds a little bit of protection if I dropped it, you could say, more than anything. But um, I'll leave it there. Um, there is a clue in here as well. You just can work out what it was for those um, interested in the treasure hunt. But um, until the next time, I will catch you all later.